I don't think that we've really gotten to see you play a character like this before, a real curmudgeon. I think that the last time might have been in Sabrina uh, as Linus Larrabee. What attracted you to a character like him? Uh, the quality of the writing, the wit, the intelligence of it all, and the opportunity to play something different than what uh, I usually play in a good film. I thought it was a really uh, ambitious script. We certainly haven't seen that si this side of you for a while, um, so I was very glad to see it. But I'm, one, of, one of the burning questions that I had was, was that your own frittata recipe, or was one provided for you? One was provided for me, but the secret to a good frittata is anything that happens to be in the, in the refrigerator can be used. But you've got to have a really hot pan to start with. Gotcha. So you weren't lying in the film, then. That was all, that was all the right advice. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're very Excellent. carefully researched. We got to see you having dinner with Chris Matthews and a bunch of seasoned veteran iconic journalists. We didn't bother to have dinner. We were having drinks. Just skipped, skipped the meal, skipped went right the into the meal. drinks. That's good. That's good. That's excellent. Um, did any of them help inform uh, the character at all? Well, it was too late. Uh, I was halfway through the movie when we did that scene, but the, all of them have informed my life and my experience uh, as a consumer of, of news, and I have great respect for uh, all those three guys, Maury Safer, Bob Schieffer, and Chris Matthews. What I took away from the film more so than any other message, and there were a, quite a few messages in the film that I really enjoyed, was um, about America's disconnect from press and current events. Um, what do you think about the state of broadcast media and news, and uh, what's your opinion on that? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I, I a bit re regret that, uh, that we've become such a, a, a fragmented society that we don't, as a kind of um, a national community, um, have uh, a source of news that we all recognize as, as um, free of opinion. That we now have uh, the, the, the news business has devolved uh, to the point where we can each go to a news uh, outlet that will tell us, uh, will repeat back to us what we what we come with, the, the, the prejudices that we come with. So everybody has their own source of news, which is, it's like preaching to the choir, it's like religion or philosophy, it's not, it's not news. News used to be free of opinion, and you used to, used to be the, it used to be the, the pride of a newsman that he didn't bring his own opinion into it, but gave you the opportunity to think about what was happening. They reported the facts. Really fair and balanced. Yeah, fair, fair and balanced. balanced. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I have to ask you, just before I go, uh, would you be interested in picking up the bullwhip and the fedora one more time if, uh, if the opportunity comes around? I would pick up the, 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 the hat and the whip and the check with great pleasure.